that day we discussed about the geographical location of Sri Lanka. But today, I am going to discuss about the rain, or uh, I mean monsoon rain of Sri Lanka. Usually, to tell we all know the uh, Sri Lanka is a country located in tropical zone and it is uh, near to uh, equator. So therefore, Sri Lanka has a higher temperature, about 27 Celsius degrees. To 30 uh, Celsius degrees, it has uh, it has no winter. But usually, students, you can argue, but we as newer area, Badulla so they are getting some, they have some winter season. But actually, we can't tell. Actually, it is uh, a winter season because usually uh, somehow they will get snow uh, and they have chill climate. But actually, they don't have winter because actually Sri Lanka we don't have any seasonal changes. Uh, it differ. It uh, seasonal changes mean each and every area is different from uh, the other. So Sri Lanka receives uniform rainfall throughout the year. Now we all know Putala uniform mean actually you all have your school costume that means it we are calling it as a uniform. Uniform mean uh, then only other people and especially school students, school um, teachers and each and every people they can identify you are belong to that school. So likewise uniform rainfall, that means uniform means rainfall also we can be categorized them into three parts. Okay, so then only we can clearly get a picture of this what is the rain. So usually in Sri Lanka we divided it into three parts. First one is monsoon rain, second one conventional rain and third one is cyclones. Usually the periodical winds blowing into the country from the direction of southwest and northeast are cold monsoons. Usually period mean I think you all have uh, periods in your time table, right? Period mean uh, for each and every period you have to pay for another subject. You have to get ready for the another subject, separate subject. Period mean for it is depend on the time. The periodical winds mean usually we are getting winds. Uh, from other side of the country so those winds are coming a different period of time in the year so usually those winds blowing into the country now you can see in this picture here south uh, winds are coming from south side and winds are coming from uh, northeast so those things are coming into the Sri Lanka this is cream color part is land area of our country so these uh, winds are coming from outside to the country uh, so those are coming from southwest and northeast of all monsoon especially by your subjection if uh, explain the monsoon rain then you have to give the answer the periodical winds blowing into the country from directions of southwest and northeast are cold monsoon that's the answer the periodical winds okay blowing where into the country from the direction of where to where southwest and northeast of all monsoons that's all okay now one going to explain what is southwest monsoon rain and what is northeast monsoon rain usually Bhutala, you can get southwest monsoon rain during these three months may to july may june july usually western and southwestern parts of sri lanka receive heavy rain I think you all have good uh, capture of your mind because usually May, June, July you can get southwest monsoon rain, okay? Heavy rain. Especially these uh, these rain can be seen in western and southwestern parts of Sri Lanka. And now you can see here this winds. Now uh, this green color part is land area of Sri Lanka, and here Sri Lanka is an island covered by water. Let me. Uh, see okay now these winds are coming uh, into the country from outside okay and the other one is northeast monsoon rain these more northeast monsoon rain okay? these uh, winds are blowing into the country from northeast to the country okay now you can see in this picture so these northeast monsoon rain can be seen in these three months November to January, November, December, January, northeast monsoon rain. Okay, northern and eastern parts of Sri Lanka receive heavy rain. So, from northeast monsoon rain, northern and eastern parts of Sri Lanka get heavy rain. 
okay now we discuss about the monsoon rain of sri lanka now we have discussed about conventional rain of sri lanka especially you can get conventional rain throughout the year but especially march april september october you can get conventional rain okay what is the meaning of conventional rain butala conventional rain samhara varsha okay now i am going to explain that rain with thunder have you noticed this uh because especially now we are in our fourth month of the year that mean we are in april month right so usually we are getting conventional rain this month okay uh, so conventional mean rain with thunder usually we can see rainy and also thundering as well okay and the other one is occurs throughout the year as i mentioned you already conventional can be seen uh, in throughout the year whole year become subdued once monsoon gathers its strength uh, that mean become subdued once that mean less power it becomes they are going to um, uh, create less power once monsoon gathers its strength that mean monsoons they are gathering uh, that mean strength like right? so the become if now this conventional rain becomes subdued that mean uh, they are Uh, creating less power once monsoon gathers its strength, and we have discussed now cyclones. Especially from this chapter, cyclones mean this rain. Uh, if, that means this rain coming with uh, wind. Especially cyclones here we be. Now you can get cy- cyclones from October, November, December. That means October to December. Usually, rain with strong wind. Have you noticed this? Because in television also they broke uh, broadcasted about these things. That mean uh, some people uh, they damage their house with cyclones because roofs roofs also went outside. So went away because of cyclones. Cyclones mean strong wind. Some people they can't bear this wind, especially those who are living in coastal areas. so cyclones are damaging their properties as well so cyclones mean especially heavy wind strong wind cyclone occur due to the air disturbance in the bay of bengal have you uh, noticed this but i think you all have good capture of your mind about bay of bengal now, now i will show in my video clip this is bay of bengal so now you can see here cyclone occur due to the air disturbance in the bengal bay of bengal Now we have to go for the climate condition of Sri Lanka and the areas. Okay. Now, for that, normally dry weather condition prevails in Sri Lanka during the months of February and August. Usually, Sri Lanka is in tropical zone and it is near to the equator. And the other one is February and August. We can see dry weather condition of Sri Lanka. So those time farmers reap their paddy during this period. I think as Sri Lankans, you all have. good idea about this i am not going to explain it okay now here you can see in this these pictures now each and every every uh, picture is differ from the other because here uh, those are showing separate part of sri lanka so tall trees are grown in the forest which are distributed in wet areas due to the uniform heavy rainfall and the temperature that prevails throughout the year you should be careful as i mentioned you already we are getting rainfall so these trees these places are created by nature according to the rainfall okay according to the rainfall that sanwa tamai anwa tamai anwa tamai thirane venne gasol subhavi sa pradeshe subhave so these tall trees have been gone into the desert that mean uh, without tree that means there are no there can, can be no trees Okay, have you gone to the tree a desert? Okay, now feel the experience. Close your eyes and feel the experience. Now, how do you feel it? It's real hot. We can't bear the temperature, right? Now, just open your eyes and just enter this area. Just enter this area. So, likewise, 
Now these tall trees, now you can see tall trees. So those are grown in the forest which are distributed wet areas. So usually in wet areas we can see tall trees in wet areas. Okay, so due to the now here if you enter this forest you feel real comfort and you feel real you may feel real chill in this wet zone. So this uh, area uniform heavy rainfall and the temperature that prevails throughout the year because uniform heavy rainfall heavy that much heavy rainfall this uh, these forest areas they take heavy rainfalls and the temperature that prevails throughout the year that means they are maintaining uh, uh, they are maintaining the same temperature throughout the year so and the other one is now you can see in the other picture grasslands and papyrus here grasslands now you can see here grasses and um, the other one is here you can see some cows they are eating these grasses so these picture here these these two are differ from each other right okay because why because of the rainfall changes of rainfall right so can we see close to the craters and the short trees go there due to the changes in rainfall kotagas here now you can see here not like here in wet zone there are tall trees but in grasslands here you can see here small trees are there okay not like this wet zone here small trees you can see okay uh, so and the other one is temperature as well as the altitude now here temperature also the uh, differ from this wet zone that's the thing now thorny bushes and chirps grow in the dry and semi-arid areas where uh, dry climate exists. Now we have thorny bushes. Thorns we can do. Thorny bushes and chirps in those are in, especially those are, we can see those things are in dry area. Okay, thorny bushes and chirps grow in dry and semi-arid areas where the dry climate exists. Now here you can see these pictures are different from each other. Okay, and uh, mangroves are spread close to coastal lagoons and river mouths here. But, but here now, have you noticed these mangroves? Kadulana, okay. Usually, we can see these mangroves uh, spread close to coastal lagoons and river mouths. Okay, so the thing is, uh, usually, uh, these things usually put uh, not like uh, other countries usually. Foreign people, they are eagerly traveling to this country, they are eagerly coming to our country because of the thing is usually for of their country, they have climate changes, that means they have uh, climate changes mean uh, for if they have winter season for whole country they will be winter. But our country is here, each and every area is separated, that means each and every area is different from Others. So that's why they are eagerly waiting, uh, they are eagerly traveling to our country uh, because of the climate changes, because of the uh, uh, background, that I means because of the nature, each and every area is different from the, each other. So that is why they are traveling to our country. And uh, climate and the vegetation cover and the experience of the beauty of this country within a distance of 70 kilometers. from this lesson so i hope to come with your social identity so see you soon bye